Well, today is March the 8th. You know, in my travels, I've had the opportunity to talk with hundreds of people about the subject of passion. And what I've learned from these personal encounters is that most people understand the things I teach about passion, and they believe the principles that I share. But the problem lies in the fact that the vast majority of people have a difficult time defining a vision for their life. After thinking about this problem for years, I finally come to the conclusion that most of these people are falling uh, into a place or, or failing in their search for purpose because they are approaching the task backwards. They're trying to define a vision that can stir their passion. Instead, you should be allowing your God-given passion to clarify vision. My good friend John Maxwell said, passion fuels vision, and vision is the focus of passion. Leaders who are passionate about their work create vision. So to identify and define the vision of your heart, you need to follow the bread trail, crumbs that have been left by your natural passions. Begin with your childhood. Think, think through the key interest of your life. What's excited you or, or piqued your fascination? When you were young, you had no problem identifying the activities that intrigued your soul. But when you became older, you abandoned those pursuits in favor of the more practical things. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it's necessary to focus on the practical aspects of life in order to make it possible for you to pursue your dreams. But when the, uh, the necessary things of life finally choke out the dreams of life altogether, life becomes boring and a bit predictable. I tell you what, it'll also soon become unfulfilling. It was always God's plan for you to be prudent and to put first things first. But it was never God's plan for you to abandon the vision that he gave you for your life. Find your purpose in life by going back to the passions that stir you.